Hey everybody, it's Rhino, and I am here at Disney Springs today. Um, and I thought I would just kind of take a walk through the springs and show you a couple of my favorite places here. So I'm just gonna point out restaurants, shopping locations, those sort of things, tell you exactly why I like them. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it, I know. Very unexciting, but people always kind of ask recommendations on where to eat, what's the best place to shop and stuff like that. So. I figured it's a really nice day. It's a nice cool breeze going through. If you can hear it or not, I'm sure you can hear it, but um, so I thought it was a great day to just take a walk through, through, through the springs. I haven't been here in a couple of weeks, so see if anything's new. And plus I'm on the hunt for some WandaVision merchandise. So we'll see if I find any of that along the way. Um, but uh, I'm gonna start at one end here at Cirque du Soleil and then walk all the way to the other end. And like I said, just really stop and showcase some of the places that I like along the way. Whichever ones I can go in, maybe I'll try and walk inside and just show you a couple things while I'm there. But before I get started on this walk, I just wanna remind everybody that this and everything we do here at The Diz is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. They are experts at helping you plan the perfect Disney vacation. Be sure to visit them on the web at Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you book with them, it costs you nothing extra and you help support the show, so we very much appreciate it. Woo! I'm loving this breeze right now. So let's start our walk, shall we? Okay, so first up, not far, obviously, outside of Cirque du Soleil, which by the way, Cirque du Soleil, I do really enjoy, but the only thing is it's not open right now, so I can't highlight that. And also it's not something you do every time you're here, I think, um, but I am excited for the new show that's gonna be in there. But this City Works, which is still fairly new, it opened just before everything closed for the pandemic, is pretty good. I, I think other people on the show have spoken pretty highly of it, but. I like it because there is a ton of beer selection. A lot of it is local Florida beers, and also they have a pretty good happy hour. And as you can see right here, there's a pretty nice outdoor seating area. So I think it's worth checking out if you're here in an afternoon or you're taking a day off from the parks. I mean, I, I'd recommend it, especially if you're just looking to have some drinks and walk around and make some terrible shopping decisions like I do all the time. This is the place for you, I think. So they also have a couple of food items that'll show up on the happy hour, but... Um, Overall, I, th I think it's good. I think it's worth checking out. So let's let's keep going. So the AMC theaters that you can see right behind me, I know there's like no movies to be seen right now. Um, and it's not really recommended to be going out into the theaters and everything like that right now. But uh, when this is up and hopping again, it is open. So if you, whatever your journey is in life, if you've decided that you want to go here, it's a good theater. Um, I think the Dolby Cinema um, Theater in there is really fantastic. And the remodeled seats um, or the remodeled theaters, excuse me, that are uh, basically most of it's a dine-in now. Um, but the newer version of the dine-in is like classic movie theater seats with the recliners and everything, but you have your own your own individual table. So you don't have to, it's not like grouped off into that weird like two and two. Like if you don't, if you, there's a stranger, they have their own table. That's, that's what's great about it. So, uh, you know, in the day and age when you could go to a movie, this was the place to go. And so hopefully this, this kind of sticks here because I, I have the AMCA list and I, I've been a fan of it. And this would be the place where after work, I would just come and see a movie and uh, usually pretty enjoyable. So recommended. Two stores I really like here at Disney Springs on, on this side of, of the area is the uh, the Marvel Superhero Headquarters and the Star Wars uh, Jedi Galactic Outpost. Isn't the other one called Galactic Outpost down by World of Disney? I guess we're gonna find that out in this video. Um, but what I like about these is that you can find, um, it's kind of like grouped all that Marvel merchandise from around the other parks together. I mean, you might be able to find this stuff in other stores like in World of Disney or um, like I said, at the, you saw, uh, if you saw, I was at Keystone Closers in uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios. They had a lot of Marvel stuff there. So, uh, but I, I definitely, this is my go-to if I'm looking for anything interesting. They have, they famously originally had the, um, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout merchandise here for some reason when they first opened this and people were like, what? They're like, you should have to go to the location to get that stuff. So, um, but I'm going to pop inside. I'm going to see if there is any WandaVision merchandise in here. And if they have anything that I didn't see at Keystone Clothiers, 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 I don't know where we settled on that, but, um, I'm just going to see if they have anything in here or not. I like these two. Fifteen dollars here. These are my favorite two, and then they have the black and white ones. And then the Vision Halloween shirt, which is 
$36.99, which is insane for a shirt. And this, same for the, same for this one. Oh, there's a new Black Panther mask. I didn't see this one yet. I can't really see what the design is on this. But you can see like it's like his mask's texture, his suit's texture. Oh, mm. I have Groot mask now. I didn't know this. It says I am Groot. He's got a little flower. Too bad these masks are like ten dollars now. So it's cool. I I I'm, I like that they had the pops. I was actually looking for those Wandavision pops, but I didn't get them because. Well, because honestly, I had a really expensive medical bill recently, and I am like, all right, time to cut back on the toys and things like that, right? Like, you have to you have to pick and choose your battles, and I guess I'm choosing to try and be healthy. I, I, I don't know. I guess, right? That's the journey for all of us. But also, the shirts being like 40 bucks is insane. I, I can't do that. If you're a cast member, though, and you're getting that discount, why not? But... Um, I'm gonna pop into the Star Wars Galactic Outpost next and just see if they have anything interesting. You know, I've already done the video on the other side and at uh, Hollywood Studios, so I feel like I haven't seen anything new, but, but I'm just going in, just for posterity, right? So it looks like a lot of the same merchandise that's at the Tatooine Traders in Hollywood Studios. I am telling you, if this stuff ever hits the outlets, you and you. You're coming home with me. So Tatooine is yellow and orange like a sun. Hoth is white and blue like a cold ice planet. Why is this one not green? The Endor one. I'll never forget it. Okay, so we have our answer. You can't see it, but it says the Star Wars trading post is where you're going to find the stuff from Galaxy's Edge, and they have it all on display here. So this is kind of all the stuff from Tatooine Traders and whatnot. So the reason why I like those two stores is that when stuff is kind of sold out everywhere else, they're kind of your last-ditch effort. And, like, though it may seem like just very basic things, I feel like you can find a gem in there every now and then. So it's worth a look. Next, we're going to go into Disney Style back here, which is a store that I really enjoy because it does have a lot more of that, like, the stylish Disney clothes and things like that. It, it's going to be where you can get your spirit jerseys, leggings, any of that sort of things. But they have some fun shirts in there. I wish they'd lean into the creative stuff for men a little bit more than they do. But they do still have that. I've got to move out of here because this person just keeps coughing near me. So now that we're a safe distance away from the coffer, as I was saying, um, they just I wish they would lean into the men's uh, stuff a little bit more. But uh, they, they, they do from time and time again. And also, lately, it's had a lot of really great 90s, uh, late 80s, 90s, early 2000s stuff in there. So I'm just going to poke in, see if I see anything cool, and then we'll, we'll keep going. A lot of lady stuff. A lot of lady stuff. Which is good. Good to them. These cardigans are new. I haven't seen these before. That's cute. $60. Nice and thick. Soft. Mickey Mouse one, too. Cool hat. I like the colors. $27.99. New spirit jersey mask. I believe these might be like $15. I'm not sure. What in the world? Okay. This isn't our castle. I don't think it is. No. I never looked up and noticed this before. If you're wondering, yes, I'm upset that child reach should stand near me. So I really like these. Look. Okay. Ready? Uh, 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 right along the side. I like sweatshirts with things that go on the side. $55. It's embroidered, though. Not this, just this. There's a Fox and the Hound one. I like that they're, they're both boys. So that's nice, too. Lady and the Tramp. Okay, so that was Disney style. And now before we move too far out of this area, there's just right over here, this little 
area of uh, shops over here that I want to highlight one place real quick, but I'm going to step over there so you can see it a little clearer. So there's a Wetzel's Pretzels and a haagen all very like mall-based things, but then there's a Yasaki. If you haven't been to Yasaki, I really enjoy it. It's a uh, it's like poke bowls or wraps or things like that, kind of a build your own thing. Um, and they have the frozen beer like uh, that you used to be able to get at Epcot, but I think that's closed right now. So I always think this is worth a try if you've been here and you've had like everything else. I'm just gonna, I'll walk forward here really quick so you can see the, you can get one of these guys. Boom, the taiyaki, hmm, it's really good. Oh, and they have little, the little buns too. I always get the bowls though. Anyway, recommend it. Get the sauce on the side. Okay, so I don't believe this is operating currently, but Stargazer's Bar, even though I am not the biggest fan of, um, of Planet Hollywood, this place had one of the best happy hours at Disney Springs. And it usually started from like four, I think it went until about seven, but they had a big selection of beers and it would have be like I don't, it was it was really inexpensive like compared to everything else i i think um one of my friends who used to work down at disney springs actually said that they they confirmed as this being the most like like the best in terms of selection versus also pricing and all of that sort of stuff so if this does ever open back up i really hope they bring that back so i don't know we'll see we'll see though Another place that had a great happy hour was Edison um, because the hours of operation have changed. Uh, Monday through Friday, as of right now, as the recording of this, they have, I think they're not open till five. They're only open like five to 10. And then Saturday and Sunday, they do lunch from 12 to four. And then it's dinner four to 10. So I don't think they open really much earlier than that anymore. They used to open at like 12 or one and the happy hour would be like one to six. And then it would be like these handcrafted cocktails for like $7, you know? And, um, and they, they had a pretty interesting menu um, that was kind of all over the place too. And also this, this is a great place for really interesting, if you are a fan of the actual craft of drink making, like craft drinks, this is a place where they have a lot of very knowledgeable bartenders and they have a lot in terms of unique ingredients and that sort of stuff, but they also know their history about, in, uh, history of everything here. Sorry, I'm like just trying to take two sentences at once, but um, so I honestly, I'm really sad that this one hasn't been open since everything reopened. I did come one evening for a drink because if you can see right over here, there's a whole outside patio seating area over there. Um, and yeah, but unfortunately it's a little pricey when it's not happy hour. But uh, still, I still think worth giving it a try to try some stuff though. So um, let's move on. I know I've got another favorite um, area just down the road over here. Shock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. It, I do like it. It's not like my be all end all, but I still really enjoy it. I think if you still have tables in Wonderland, it's worth it because they do accept tables in Wonderland and they do have a really good selection of beer. There are some interesting uh, mixed drinks in here. You can of course get collectible glassware. I recommend the monkey, the monkey head of that. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I like that they rotate the food. They'll have some really interesting seasonal selections. So I think it's definitely worth stopping. But if you are coming and being like, I'm a in massive Indiana Jones fan, I think it's a little light in terms of that, but I, I'm still glad it exists, right? It's just one of those where I'm like, for me, it's like a seven and a half out of a 10, I guess. I don't know, I don't know. I think price is a big factor. And I think that the stuff in here can still be pricey. That's why like with the tables in Wonderland, it makes it worth it. But without that, it's kind of like, eh. But the gem of Disney Springs is obviously Gideon's Bakehouse because these cookies are delicious. Honestly, I, they are every much the hype you want them to be. I know that the line can get really long. They have a virtual queue, so you're not just standing in line for forever. But if you have never had one of these cookies, I think it is definitely worth like coming here and getting it and trying it. And uh, that coffee, cake cookie will change your life, but they only have that in the morning until like 11 or 12, maybe. I could be wrong on that time, but, um, or it's until it sells out, but man, it's so, so, so good. Oh, gosh. I want a cookie right now. No, no, I'm making this video. No cookie. Maybe. I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll come back. 
another place that I really enjoy to have a drink because apparently that's what I do everywhere is just drink, eat and drink, but um, is the Hole in the Wall Bar, which is located right between Cooks of Dublin and uh, Raglan Road. Like the sit down and the quick service wedge right there is the Hole in the Wall Bar. And the reason why I like this one is because again, they have a great happy hour where it is $5 beers, which is awesome. And you can get some local beers uh, on tap here, they have um, one. One I love to recommend if they if they have it is King of Shoals, which comes from Crooked Pan Brewery, which is in um, Winter Garden. But um, getting it here during happy hour, five dollars is less than you'll get it at the brewery on tap. So uh, I really like that one. I think it's great. It's got a, a couple of seating areas. The reason why I'm not like standing over there in front of it is because it's a little crowded over here right now. But um, highly recommend that one if you're looking for a nice like out of the way spot. Um, like I said, it can get a little crowded, but like it's got, it's got some seating everything you can always grab the beer and walk around and go somewhere else but uh definitely recommend i find that i've been there a couple of times since everything's reopened like maybe like two or three times but before that i had i wasn't i'd gone like once or twice so um and that uh discount there is also like a, a, a deal on uh wells as well if you're not a big beer drinker or anything like that so i think i think worth checking out Again, that's just kind of to stop and relax and have a drink. It's not really like, I don't know. It's it's not gonna be this like amazing, incredible, as, to quote one Stephen Elizabeth Porter, it's not, it's not gonna be an amazing experience, but um, it gets the job done, so recommend it. So just over here next to this uh, awesome or orange, bir orange bird wall, uh, cause I can speak right now, is the Erin McKenna Bakery. And uh, I am a fan of that Erin McKenna Bakery. I did a video on it just before Christmas. If you if you didn't catch that, I got a like pineapple cranberry upside down cake and um, uh, a carrot cake cupcake that I both enjoyed. Um, it's a dairy free, soy free, egg free, cruelty free um, bakery. But the, the options in there are pretty good. And um, I've gotten some recommendations to try other stuff, which I plan to do in the future as well. But um, I, I recommend it. This is in the alley by the boathouse as you take the corner around toward Paddlefish. So um, let's, let's keep going. Okay, so I haven't actually been to the outside bar here at Terralina, but I just wanted to stop and do a little appreciation pose for like, look at these, look at these trees. Look how pretty and nice this is. And they have outdoor seating, $5 beers, half price wine by the glass, four to 6 p.m. daily. Look at that little area though, like over there with the orange word wall. It's very nice. A store here at Disney Springs I think is pretty cool. And I know it's gonna seem kind of basic because it's not like exclusive to Disney or anything like that is the Lego store. Um, uh, Eli famously collects and builds Legos. And I honestly think that all the employees here are generally very nice, very knowledgeable. Um, and that with uh, like the sa uh, safety, social distancing protocols and all of that sort of stuff, the health and safety stuff, they've been very vigilant about that here at the Lego store and very good with not letting too many people in the building. And um, so I think that's really cool. Um, and I'm a fan. I Even though I personally don't build the Legos, I still like going in and seeing the sets. And I, I think there have been some like really, really cool sets. Plus, because the Lego store isn't like everywhere, there aren't just like a million Lego stores. I think it's cool that Disney Springs has one. Um, so uh, for the fans, it's one of those things where as a, as a local, this is, I can understand the draw here to pull people in. So um, lots of cool sets in there. Always, always good to check that out. Um, hmm, let's keep going. Another store that I am a huge fan of at Disney Springs, you've heard me say it on shows many a times, and I think it is actually one of the best ones here that does, like, it uses the fact that it's at Disney Springs, a unique location, and uses it in some of its clothing lines, is Uniqlo. Uh, and this, uh, the first time I was ever exposed to Uniqlo, it was in New York City, a very cold, New Year's Eve and it was you know known for it's like really thin down jackets that you could wear and then like roll up into like essentially a small ball and wear, like clip it to yourself or something like that and so uh, but then when they were building one here I'm like what are they gonna do with the warm weather wear here but they have some really fun like t-shirts and designs and there's always a line of Disney stuff in here and it's not expensive at all also I need everybody to know that the best pair of pants I have ever bought in my life have come from this store. I have three of this type of pants now. It's just this like 
material that is like stretchy and uh, thin, but so soft and so comfortable. Um, good for like any occasion, a dress down, a dress up, you know, whatever. I, I uh, the humidity in Florida, I'm telling you right now, you gotta come here and get them. I'm gonna pop in real quick. We're just gonna take a look, see if there's a couple of fun designs in here to just, just check out so I can throw you some examples of. So let's get inside the store. Cute. I love this. Twenty dollars. It's cute. Just look. Twenty dollars for the iconic Mickey short sleeves. You can see there's a whole bunch up there. A whole bunch of them. Tons of stuff. Stuff for kids. Look, we got some villain stuff in here. Minimas. Mickmas. We got Buzz and Woody, Sully, Lightning McQueen. These are all $14.90. A whole bunch of different designs up here. So prices are kind of varying all over the place whole Alice in Wonderland collection right now. That's just a couple of items in there. I just wanted to show you a preview of some of the kind of collections you'd see, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I think some of the prices went up. It used to be like 10 bucks to $15 would be the normal, and it seemed like the normal in there now is like $20, which is too bad, but I mean, still less than a $36 Disney t-shirt have we seen already, so um, just a couple more spots to highlight in this video, I think. Um, just gonna, gonna show you. Gonna show you, because I want it. Come on, come on, gang. I wasn't gonna talk about the co-op, but I came in here and they have this cute Trader Sam shirt. It's $30, okay? So less than a regular Disney shirt, but it's so soft. And I love that it's like not a black shirt and it's colored. I like this, this is very nice. So the co-op, I, I was gonna say how much I enjoyed the co-op, but lately it seems very hit or miss for me. Like the 28 main stuff is gone. So that store kind of rotates a lot. 28 main? Yeah, that's what it's called, right? Um, but I'm, I'm happy the Wonderground Gallery has moved to the back of the store. And as you just saw, I there was a t-shirt in there that was pretty cool. I didn't get it, obviously. Um, and, uh, but it, you can also find like the D-Tech stuff in there, the uh, dress stores in there. Um, you know, it's one of those where I feel like, I feel like it, it, it's like just a little shy of delivering on the promise of a great idea that it is. Um, but, you know, again, we live in a time where, I don't know, so they gotta put whatever they can in there. The trading outpost, I feel like you all know how I feel about it at this point, um, that I enjoy that it's here because it's uh, people who maybe don't have access to the tickets right now because they don't have annual passes anymore, or they just can't afford to go into the park. They could get themselves something from Galaxy's Edge over here. A lot of stuff, a lot of the merchandise is in there, so I don't mind it, it's here, honestly. Some days it's just easier to come here than it is to make a park pass and go to the park to get it, so I appreciate it being here. One of my favorite, probably my favorite Satam restaurant here is actually Morimoto Asia. Um, they have a quick service outside, but the inside stuff has always treated me right. I know it might not be for everybody, but it is so good. There is a sake sangria in there that is delicious. And they have a dessert that has this like lemon um, curd in it. Oh my God, so good. I'll never get over either how I've done fine dining now in the same place where I've like sweaty drunk danced on a rotating dance floor since that used to be mannequins back when it was still downtown Disney. Um, also, which was my favorite place at downtown Disney. It's still sad to have seen that go, but memories, good times, good times. So I know they have Blaze in more than just Disney Springs, but honestly, I'm happy it's here. I find myself eating there quite frequently. I feel like they have a great amount of options when it comes to like crust, sauce, toppings, all that stuff. And it's very, very affordable. And they do annual pass holder discounts here and everything. And so I think it's, I think it's great um, for like a quick service option. So I highly recommend it. Um, again, like I said, not original to here. They have them everywhere, but it's still really good. I, who doesn't love a build your own pizza? I know who, Fiasco, because it doesn't like cheese. That's just, 
marinara sauce and bread fiasco. Keep lying to yourself and say it's pizza. No one believes you. Also, they have vegan cheese in here, so uh, maybe you should try one of those. That's his journey, not mine though. But anyway, I like it. So that's it. That was, uh, those are kind of just some of my favorite spots. I feel like I'm gonna walk away and be like, oh, I forgot one. Um, I could have showed you uh, World of Disney, but obviously I feel like we all know World of Disney. And let's, let's face it, I'm gonna do another video at World of Disney again, just waiting for the merchandise to cycle through. Cause I really do like doing these window shopping videos because that's how I do Disney. I like to just look and see how much stuff is. And a lot of times, every now and then I buy stuff, but not, not often, so. Um, yeah, I gotta say, the it's getting very crowded here at night, so that sort of thing where it springs is quieter during the day and then gets busier at night is still holding true. Mass compliance is terrible right now um, as I'm walking through. Uh, so I feel, again, bad for any customers that kind of have to be the ones reinforcing this. And if people could only just follow the rules of a place, we wouldn't be here, but that's that. We could talk about that to a blue in the face. See, because I'm blue in the face and a shirt. I'm just kidding, I'm terrible. Um, but yeah, those are some of my favorite spots to eat and window shop and just check out merch and things like that. Um, you know, I hope, I hope that gave you a good breath of the type of things that I like to do. But, um, if, if I missed yours, leave a comment. Let me know why, why that was your favorite, why I should check it out next time I'm here, please. Or maybe it's just for you and nobody else likes it. I don't know. You know, comments, comments. Let's get chatting about it. Um, that is gonna do it for me. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. You know, we do all sorts of Disney content on here. Um, and again, this was brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you wanna book with them, you can visit dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now and uh, go home and eat because I'm hungry after looking at all the food and, uh, and all that stuff and edit this video. So uh, I'm glad that you could join me for this journey and uh, I'll see you next time for another one. So bye everybody.